big job to follow Ed is Brian Lozano from uh, talking about Partnership for Impact, the Perscola satellite model. Brian is a director of strategic uh, partnerships at Perscolas. Take it away, Brian. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Amazing. I um heard that Ed got so much applause and laughter. So if you guys don't, oh my God, just wait. No. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my name is Brian Lozano. I am the Senior Director for Strategic Partnerships for Perscolis New York. Uh, Perscolis is a over 25-year-old national nonprofit headquartered in the Bronx, and we advance economic equity through rigorous tech training, and we connect our leading talent to leading businesses. Like many of you uh, during, wait, how do you, there it is. Like many of you during the pandemic, we uh, shifted to remote options to for our learners. You know, it was a steep learning curve to figure out ways for us to make sure that the service delivery and the training and the support services for our virtual classes were the same. Um, and on top of that, the barriers of technology and access to broadband for our learners, but it forced us to create a new, more accessible options for New Yorkers and Americans across the country. And there's like a blinking light here, sorry. Um, and uh, hold on, let me just go to my script. There it is. Great. Uh, as a technology-driven nonprofit, uh, we saw an opportunity to continue driving toward accessibility. As a human service organization, we understood by experience the gaps and, and uh, that exist that prevent our, our learners from either succeeding or taking our classes in the first place. We know that one of the biggest barriers of entry into our programming is location and transportation. Where you live should not dictate whether you have access to programs and services like ours in this city. So I'm excited to talk about a model uh, that we piloted actually uh, originally in Dallas that connects New York. This is a cool photo about that, um, that really hopes to bridge the gap there. Let me start with a learner story. This is Ron Domingo. Ron lives with his family in Stana Island. Uh, he is an actor by trade. The pandemic forced him to really rethink about rethink his life and how he's spending his time with his career. Uh, Ron was working at Amazon and he was talking to employees and they were telling him, hey, we should look at an A plus certification. He did his research and he found out about Perscolis. And he knew that Perscolis had campuses in Newark and campuses in the Bronx, which were incredibly cost prohibitive and time prohibitive for him to even uh, think about us, right? If Ron were to take a commute to the Bronx from where he lives, it would be an over two hour commute on public transit and over one hour plus commute by driving with tolls. So back in January, he revisited his research and he found out that we were doing a partnership with the JCC and built a classroom there. Um, and that was 10 minutes away from his home. Ron joined our second cohort ever at the JCC and he graduated this past July. Thank you. And and more importantly, I'm excited that Ron and a bunch of the graduates were also offered first time ever IT support jobs, their first jobs in technology right on the island. Massing, give me a pause. Staten Island represents just 1% of all of our learners annually in New York City, right? The reason why we created this model was to create an opportunity to invest in neighborhoods that needs programs like ours, but we know we can't do it alone. We don't know what we don't know. Coro, shout out. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I love it. I love it. We don't know what we don't know when it comes to neighborhoods that we don't have pipelines and partnerships in. So that's where this model comes in. The satellite model aims to identify training partners in neighborhoods underinvested with tech training career programs. We work with partners, they offer us space, and then we work, uh, we rely on them, on their expertise and history in the neighborhood to build local pipeline to talent. From there, we configure the classrooms, uh, we connect it to our tech training through a blended learning model, and when we create scales of economy by working together to combine our services to provide learner support and professional development coaching you know, to our learners. Importantly, and the key for our partners is building tech sectoral expertise in technology, which is a first for many of our partners. And I cannot uh, just, just thank the partners that we've been able to work with. We've been so lucky to work with incredible partners. We first piloted this with the team, with Bryn, Fadia, and the whole team at Common Point. Shout outs to them. Love it. Also, uh, go Mets, there's always next year. 
Sorry, I'm a Queens kid. I'm just going to add that. Uh, we also launched a pilot with, I like there's like no applause for that. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, we also piloted with the JCC with the team of Kathy and Amelia. And this year we launched with uh, the Isaac Center with Damien, with Justina, with Shayla, and shout outs to Greg Morris and Alex Breen. And and lastly, we just launched our most recent class with Cypress Hills Local Development Operation with Lowell, with Nadine, with Nicole, our first ever in East New York. I see that team over there. If you haven't been to that building, it's incredible. And the work they do is amazing. And all our partners are amazing. Um, and we've been really lucky to have them. So the way that our model works, our classrooms are, are based on a WebEx and Cisco framework. We have a front camera and a back camera and, um, that is completely customizable. We have ceiling uh, microphones that are able to capture our learners, our instructors, our coaches, and we have a teaching fellow that's dedicated at the partner location. And we work incredibly hard as an entire staff to make sure that our learners from both sides and both boroughs, in this case, are connected. You can see from the photo on the left, our senior, our, our senior instructor, Manny DeCastro, is teaching an IT support lesson right now. If you look closely uh, on the right is, his, is the class in Common Point, Queens. Behind him is actually our Brooklyn campus, which is where he's located. On the right is our campus in Common, with Common Point, Queens, as they're getting instruction from Manny DeCastro and the teaching fellow as they go through the course. And the early findings of this model are incredibly impactful. As you can see in the chart on the left, in 2019, a vast bulk of our learners were coming from the Bronx, then Brooklyn, then Manhattan, then Queens, then 1% in Staten Island, right? Um, and this makes sense. A lot of our learners were coming from word of mouth. On top of that, a lot of them were living nearby one of our campuses in the Bronx and Brooklyn. Fast forward to 2021, we launched a satellite, build intentional partnerships with our partners uh, in these new neighborhoods, and we're seeing a huge increase in enrollment to over 600 New Yorkers. And on top of that, um, a more demonstrable equitable uh, uh, distribution within the five boroughs, including a notable increase in Queens and a 500% increase in Staten Island. And the important part about this, this uh, early findings is that it still adheres to our, our KPIs of success. 85% graduation rate, 80% certification rate, 80% placement rate with a starting average salary of $21 an hour. This model is centered on the idea of how we think impact can be done at scale through partnerships and through technology. Um, we, we can't thank our partners of because for the first time in our history, we are in all five boroughs, right? We are, a, oh, thank you. Uh, while we think this, this is a great opportunity for this model to be utilized as a way to work on barriers of transportation and location, we think that a future of the model can be applied to a needed demographic investment. For example, in creating a satellite to help increase our enrollment in women in technology or people with disability as an example. And we hope to continue utilizing this, this model as a way for us to uh, think nationally and, and even go across different regions in a cost effective way. But importantly, we are a workforce ecosystem. And if we're going to serve New York City, across, uh, communities across New York City, we're going to have to do this together as all stakeholders, as nonprofits, philanthropies, government, education, businesses. We're going to have to work effectively to do this together. And this model proves that in partnership, we can create economies of scale and have good results. There it is. So we launched this pilot in late 2021. And we had two uh, amazing pilots, and obviously we've launched four classrooms since then. In 2023, we're expecting that this pilot is going to account for over 200 of our learners, um, which we're incredibly excited about. We are really in, in, in support of and uh, in collaboration with Barclays, we're releasing a report about the model that's going to really talk about with further insights about our early findings, partner profiles, and more. Um, and it's going to be released next week on Tuesday, so please be on look at it. I'm just going to end this with a quote from one of our partners, Damian Samuels, for the Isaac Center in Goddard. People are influenced by what's around them. It's interesting how you hear people in the neighborhood talk about job opportunities, the court is hiring officers. Now we're starting to hear kids ask, what's up with that tech program? I am a first-generation immigrant from Elmhurst, Queens. So building a classroom in Elmhurst, Queens was incredibly important for me as someone who actually went to a CT high school and wish programs like, like this existed. Access matters. Investment in neighborhood matters. 
period. So when I hear kids in my neighborhood and neighbors in my neighborhood ask about this program, it like gives me absolute joy. So let's keep going. Let's keep building partnerships. And with all our partners here, let's make it happen. Okay. Thanks all.